Hi, my name is Trent Termini, and today we're going to talk about the heat treatment of lawnmower blades. Before we get into the heat treatment processes, let's talk about the right material choice for these type of blades. Some important, some important factors include reducing the hardness, having a high impact resistance, and also need, they need to be tough and sharp. Therefore, a typical type of steel used to produce lawnmower blades is low carbon high alloy steel, which is of eutectoid composition. Low carbon high alloy steel is a high, has a high impact resistance and toughness with reduced hardness. The harder steel is, the more feasible it is to break, thus softness in the blade should be optimized in this situation. Usually lawnmower blades are made in the mid-30s or high-40s range in the Rockwell Hardness Scale, HRC. Thus, the low carbon high alloy steel is stronger and softer than any other type of steel, making it the optimal choice of material for a lawnmower blade. In order to understand how lawnmower blades react with certain heat treatments, it is important to understand the concept of these heat tre treatment processes first. The first heat treatment process that will be discussed is tempering. Tempering is the process in which metals are heated. It follows a process that hardens alloys such as steel. The main objective of tempering is to reduce the hardness and brittleness of the metal. There is no specific temperature for tempering, however, the process should happen below the steel's melting point. In addition, the duration of quenching the material is not long, whereas the tempering process takes significantly longer. For example, it typically takes 1084 carbon steel roughly two hours to heat and then cool the material to room temperature. The full process of tempering is first heat treating or austenizing and quenching the material and oil to cool rapidly and evenly and then finally tempering. The beginning microstructural product of the low carbon high alloy steel is austenite and the end microstructural product for, of the tempered material is martensite. Compared to austenite, martensite has a harder and less dense structure, creating a stronger yet more brittle material. The next type of heat treatment is austempering. Just like the similarity in the name, the heat treatment process of austempering is very similar to the tempering heat treatment process. The method of austempering also does a typical quench and temper method. However, where this process is different from tempering, it produces a uniform physical structure throughout the treated material, rather than just treating the surface like tempering. The austempering process requires a significantly higher temperature than tempering. However, the duration of the process is nearly the same. Due to these high temperatures, austempering creates a microstructure known as bainite. This material is a higher quality than martensite, which was the microstructure of the tempered material. For example, martensite is known to develop quench cracks during its formation due to its poor ductility at quenching temperatures. The bainite material, however, due to the temperature to high temperatures, eliminates that cracking sensation and creates a stronger, harder, and more ductile material. Thus, austempering is the optimal heat treatment process to strengthen the material of lawnmower blades. Now that you know how these blades are heat treated, you can see that heat treating lawnmower blades significantly affects the, me the mechanical properties of the blades. Moreover, this change in material can be really important when deciding the optimal material for lawnmower blades. Tempered or austempered lawnmower blades will have more value than blades that have not been modified by these heat treatment processes. The material of tempered blades are more durable, stronger, and harder than regular blades. The strength of tempered blades would be uniform in both inside and outside of the metal material, and the blade would display a value in between 35 to 48 on the Rockwell Hardness Scale, HRC. Also, tempered blades have a lower rate of deformation, giving lawnmower blades the ability to mow grass around rocky surfaces. Another important topic of discussion for blade material is the sharpness of the blade. The sharper the blade, the easier it is to cut grass. Thus, the optimal material for sharpness is important. Moreover, tempered blades provide a tougher and less brittle material, thus providing a material that will retain its sharpness for a long time. However, as all blades do, tempered blades still do become blunt at some point, but it won't be as frequent as certain blades. Thus, tempering blades show a much higher advantage to mowing grass than normal blades. Now onto some concluding thoughts. Lawnmower blades are considered to be the most efficient when properly austempered or tempered after the austenizing heat treatment process and quenching in oil. The two tempering processes create martensite and bainite, which are considered to be the most ductile and strongest types of microstructure. These microstructural properties are, are a necessity for lawnmower blades since over a long period of time, metal blades will wear down and possibly deform, even though grass blades seem so harmless. These heat treated blades allow for a functioning stronger and longer lasting blade for lawnmowers. Thus, this provides a new perspective on buying lawnmowers or lawnmower blades. And here are my citations for my presentation. Thank you.